One of the ways the tilt test is used is to look to see when people become syncopal. And syncopal just means when they lose consciousness or when they pass out. And so on a tilt test, you can be elevated until you get to that point where you start to feel like, well, I'm gonna pass out and then they go. There are three types that we consider. First one we can think about is cardio inhibitory. And what that means is the heart rate starts to drop, 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 drop until we're not able to maintain perfusion and then people pass out. The second one is what they call a vasodepressor type syncope. And this is basically where the blood pressure drops, 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 drops until people pass out. Obviously, the other one to consider is mixed, where both the heart rate and the blood pressure drop until you lose perfusion enough to where people pass out. Now, these are all under the umbrella of vasovagal syncope, but one thing that's very good to note is there's actually been some work that's shown that we can have that syncopal event prior to the blood pressure dropping or the heart rate dropping to a threshold level. So there appears to be a neurogenic component to it where the brain has a little triggering mechanism that can actually cause people to pass out on the way to that range. So all those are ways to consider and start to think about what is happening when we notice that people are passing out on a tilt test and then we can use those to solve for, do we need to get the heart rate up? Do we need to be able to have better signaling from the brain to maintain that? Better signaling to the peripheral vessels to maintain their constriction so we don't lose blood pressure? Or are we getting that triggering mechanism that's happening centrally?